Hello everyone, my name is Bo Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. It is getting down to the wire, the holiday is quickly approaching, and I don't know about you, but I am always so far behind on my Christmas shopping. My cards are sent, but I am lagging in the gift department, so I thought I'd take a trip into the city to see what's new, see what's out there, see what left I can check off my list. I haven't been to the actual city center in about six or seven months now, but they do have so many incredible stores down there, you guys, so I thought it would be fun to bring you along with me to a couple that I haven't been to in a while, like CB2 and Design Within Reach, which, if you haven't been before, is this really cool mid-century modern mecca. So stick around to see some of the incredibly unique pieces that they have in their showrooms. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, let me know you enjoyed being here and like the videos that I'm putting out on this channel. Chat with me in the comments and be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Botox now if you don't already because that's where you're going to find more of my day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you followed me for some time, you'll know that I love to use decorative stems in my holiday displays. These were $20 a stem, but they have a very similar berry branch from Bed Bath & Beyond for only $3.49. Keep this in mind if you're looking to stock up for next year, because most holiday decor will be marked down as we near Christmas Day. They also had this beautiful set of tapered candle holders. At CB2, they run $25 to $35 a piece, but I was able to snag a very similar set from Marshalls about a month back for $7 to $8 each, which needless to say is a fraction of the price. These marbleized black and white swirl trees were very minimalistic and would look beautiful on a mantle or tablescape. They were selling for $25 to $35 too, and I know that black is becoming a lasting trend in holiday decor, and a pair of accents like this would easily add drama to any display. I'm a huge fan of marble accents, and this black nimble object was definitely a piece that would make a statement to any tabletop, shelf, or vignette. At $149, this was a bit steep. I always recommend Facebook Marketplace and Etsy for vintage stone objects, even HomeGoods has quite a selection from time to time for a much more reasonable price point. I am fortunate enough to have a built-in desk with the quartz countertop in my apartment, but this black modular desk with the contrast white veining was stunning. At $1,659, it's quite an investment, but has glowing reviews online. I'm not partial to brass, but the pleated silhouette of this brushed brass table lamp would make a beautiful addition to any room. At $229, this piece too was a bit pricey, but very modern and clearly draws on mid-century modernism in a minimalistic form. CB2 offers quite an array of black and white wall prints, though if you're looking for something similar that's cost-effective and readily available, I'd recommend Etsy for digital downloads as most are no more than $6 to $10 a piece. Or if you're up for the challenge, you can try to DIY a similar abstract face yourself. Another gorgeous lamp here. This piece was actually made of concrete, very industrial in appearance, and at $129, it wasn't completely breaking the bank. They had quite a selection of sizes and colors in these stained glass trees. Now, for $25 to $50, I'd say go with the less expensive alternative from Joanne Fabrics, they have the same style in different sizes from $6 to $8 each. This year may be an exception, but typically when you're hosting a holiday party or dinner, you want to use good glassware. We know I gravitate towards anything Art Deco, and the hand-etched detailing in these martini glasses did not disappoint at $12 each. And these coupe glasses will easily bring your cocktail game to the next level too. They're super pleasing to the eye and will add a bit of elegance and drama to the overall presentation. This picture was pretty statuesque and at $15, totally worth it as you'd spend the same at home goods for a similar style. But this piece right here stopped me dead in my tracks. Not only is this wine chiller super functional, but it's so artistic and sculptural. Again, I'm privy to marble accents, I just think they're so timeless and versatile, and can really transcend varying decor styles with these.
Marble and travertine coffee tables are definitely making a resurgence. This piece was $1,699, but if you're patient and willing to search them out, I can assure you there are dozens to be had on Facebook Marketplace. I see most selling for around $400 to $500 for solid stone pieces, so definitely keep your eyes peeled should you enjoy this style. I have been loving this kaishi chair for quite some time. It has a very modern yet traditional silhouette and definitely acts as a conversation piece. These look so high-end, and at $599, they're not exactly inexpensive, but for that ultra high-end look, these are quite attainable. They also come in black, and I just feel like by owning these, you're asking for compliments. Now we know I love clear glass crystal accents, and this acrylic nutcracker emulates that look. Each year for the last 8 years or so, CB2 has offered a new rendition of a nutcracker. They've had this piece for the last couple of years, but it's definitely a modern accent with that hint of subtle glam so many of us crave around the holidays. There are similarly styled dupes in the market for less than the $149 price tag, but they veer more traditional in appearance. These marble chain links are so edgy. We've all seen similar, smaller sized variations make their way around home goods, but I swear these were massive and they must have weighed over 30 pounds together. This piece is part of a collaboration with jewelry designer Jennifer Fisher and will definitely make a statement, but do note that there are other more affordable options in the market. We've seen dozens of boucle chairs and ottomans, but I was so surprised to see a full blown sectional sofa. The upholstery was so soft, and for those who are unfamiliar with the fabric, it's basically like a woolly fleece. To be honest, at $3,800, a plush throw blanket like this one from Target might be the most affordable alternative. They did have another set of these sleek lacquered Christmas trees. I almost think you could DIY something similar with poster board and contact paper though. I distinctly remember making trees in this shape from curling construction paper in grade school, so I would imagine the same could be done to mimic this look for a lot less than the $20 to $40 they're asking. Now they do have an entire wall of modern and minimalistic holiday accents and ornaments. Most of these pieces are glass and come in a variety of colors. Here they had white, silver, and clear glass, but I know that they do have a few of these in gold online. Keep in mind though, many of these will go on sale as soon as the holiday passes, so if you like these styles, be sure to keep an eye out so you can score them for less and use them in future displays in the years to come. On my way out, I did notice one final looker, and it was this round dining table with three solid marble legs. By far the most beautiful table I have ever seen, and yet another collaboration piece with Jennifer Fisher. My dining table is very similar in that it has a round tempered glass top that floats on its legs. Mine is chrome, but still lends a very similar visual appeal that is not overly heavy and creates the illusion of space. Next up, I headed to a store called Design Within Reach. I've never been to this store before, and the location I visited was set up as more of a gallery for all things mid-century modern. I really liked this mid-century modern star clock. House actually sells a reproduction of the original by George Nelson for $269, almost half of what they had it for here. These wooden spheres were very Scandinavian or Nordic inspired in appearance. They are made by designer Christina Dam and sell for around $165 each. I thought it was super cool to see a mid-century inspired shelving arrangement having just completed my bookshelf styling video last week. I'll link it up for you above in the cards in case you've missed it. Here, I'm just trying to pan over the shelf to give you all a bit of placement and composition inspiration as that was really my takeaway from visiting this showroom. I love the simplicity of these marble book and sculptures, though they were quite expensive at $325. I know that Pottery Barn has an all-white version for a third that price at $99. The contrast between the black and white striped pattern on this oyoi ceramic cash pot and its unique geometric shape made for a decorative eye catcher. I tried my best to find these shallow vases but couldn't. However, I did find a vintage piece that was very reminiscent of the style selling on Etsy for around $14. I love these miniature replicas of milestone furniture pieces. They are super cool decor accents, but definitely not worth the $360 price tag. Here they had the MR20 lounge chair by Mies van der Rohe. The chair was actually made in 1927 of tubular steel, which was super avant-garde at the time. 
The second, as we know, is the Model B3 Wassily Chair by Marcel Brewer. I have a life-size reproduction that I scored on Marketplace for a third of the price of this mini replica, so though it may be unique, it's not super practical for $365. This beautiful stainless steel bowl by George Jensen was super reminiscent of a bowl I actually thrifted from Goodwill a while back. Mine cost around $2, and this piece was selling for $79 brand new. These stainless steel candle holders were around $39 to $49 a piece. They too were fashioned by George Jensen, and really enhanced the beauty of this dining table. I really appreciate the sleekness of this table. This model here sells for over $9,800, but you can absolutely find oval tulip tables inspired by the style for around $11 to $1,400 elsewhere. This cast iron candelabra was super industrial. At $600 again, it was very steep, but a work of art that could be configured and rearranged in a few different ways. There were a total of five different styles of this never-ending glory pendant, all come in at around $2,900 each. Replicas of these chandeliers do exist, and I believe at one time there was a variation for around $200 at Crate and Barrel a few years back, so I know they're out there. One of my absolute favorite chairs is the LC4 Chaise Longue. This version in cowhide is just shy of $5,000, but I did see a replica once upon a time on Facebook Marketplace that needed a little TLC for around $80 that I so desperately wish I wouldn't have passed up on. I just don't have the space for all of the incredible pieces that I find currently in my apartment. The Prouvé Potency Lamp is next level, you guys. I know I've seen quite a few swing around lamps in sconces, but at 6.5 feet this one definitely takes the cake. $1,900 is a bit steep for me, but this replica from Wayfair at $400 is much more reasonable and gives off the same satisfaction. And last but not least, this incredible artichoke lamp. At Design Within Reach, you can scoop this piece up for $16,000, which for art, yes, but also, that could buy a car. So I suggest a replica by Interior Icons for $4.99. Much more feasible, and again, it serves the same purpose. So that is it for this week's video, you guys. Be sure to leave me a comment and hit the like button to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video. If you follow me for some time, you'll know that the majority of my styling inspiration lives over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there if you don't already at Botox Now. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you can be notified first for upcoming posts and videos. Until next time, bye!